The next example, example 1B, find the nth term, or we call it as Tn. The first part, right, let's begin B1. We've got n representing the terms that we are on, and representing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. T representing the actual term in the sequence. The first term here is 4. Second term is 7. Third term is 10. Fourth term, 13. Sixth term is 16. And then we are interested in seeing what the difference between each term. We can see that from 4 to 7, when we add 3 onto 4, we will get 7. Similarly, adding 3 onto 7, we get 10. Continue with 10 plus 3, we get 13. And then the last one, 13 plus 3, we get 16. It's important that we are looking at a positive number. So let's just put plus here. So the formula is going to start off simply with 3n. It is a bit about the 3 times table. Let's draw the 3 times table first. 3 times 1 equals 3. 3 times 2 equals 6. 3 times 3 equals 9. 3 times 4 equals 12. 3 times 5. I'll, I'll stop at 5 because we just have 5 terms. As you can see here, 3 to 6 we have to plus 3. 6 to 9 we have to plus 3, 9 to 12, same here, plus 3, and then 12 to 15, we have to plus 3. But it's not just 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. In the sequence, we have 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16 for the last term. So instead of you have 3 from the table, we should get 4. 6 to 7, 9 should be 10, and so on. So the difference between 3 to 4, 6 to 7, 9 to 10, we can see the pattern, which is the 3 times table have to, has to plus 1 to be exactly same as in the sequence. So the nth term, the formula would be 3n plus 1. We can check our formula if we check for any value. Let's say I choose n equals 4. becomes 3 times 4, 12, 12 plus 1 is 13. So we will get the fourth term. And then that will give us correct answer. Second example, we have negative 2, 4, negative 8, 16 and negative 32. Let's list down the, all the terms. And the number of them, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. The first term is negative 2, second term is 4, third term is negative 8, fourth term is 16, and the last term negative 32. And again, we have to look at, search the difference between all the terms from negative 2 to 4. We have to multiply by negative 2. From 4 to negative 8, we have to multiply by positive 2. Negative 8 to 16, multiply with negative 2. And from 16 to negative 32, we have to multiply by 2. So the formula is going to be n equals 2 power of n, the double of n. But we have to consider all the positive and negative signs. We put negative 1 power of n. Okay, let's check. If I take n equals 1, we have negative 1 times 2 power of 1, we will get negative 2. Let's say we pick n equals 4. So negative 1 power of 4 is positive. 2 power of 4 is 16. Last one, number 3, we have 1 over 2, 3 over 4, 5 over 6, 7 over 8. If you realize, on the top of each fraction we have here, the numerator are all odd number. 1, 3, 5 and 7 are odd number. 2, 4, 6 and 8 
are even numbers. So we can simply get the formula of the Pn as odd number, the formula of odd number divided by the formula of even number. Even number is just uh, taken from the two times table. So how do we write the answer? The Tn is the formula of odd number divided by the formula of even number. Where the even number is actually just the two times table, two times n, where the odd number is just two n minus one.